soy aquí con Bayardo. Bayardo, ¿dónde vamos? chickens and turkeys around here and uh, gracias and uh, I'm just being told that breakfast is ready so uh, uh, yeah oh uh, yeah okay okay gracias so right over there they're telling me breakfast is ready so I better book it over there bathroom by the way and now we're gonna just go I think the bike is parked along with all these life vests because the guy does tours to the Smoto National Park which is nearby but we're going for breakfast little kitties of course there's animals everywhere so that's the building that we stayed in uh, it's it's a whole family four generations that live here and uh, now I'm in the breakfast table there's a big oven over there and uh, breakfast is coming up look at that little beast oh, hey buddy hey hey aren't you a little cutie hey yeah hey hey yeah meanwhile we just got served breakfast Breakfast is basically tortillas with some rice and beans, eggs, um, cooked or fried bananas, they're delicious, some salsa and some cheese, and of course coffee. And Bayardo's over there, the bikes in the distance, they want a Nicaragua. No, it's not a dead dog, it's a live dog. We're just gonna go. Uh, to the Somoto National Park. Here's the bike first. Parked by some of the other guys' bikes. As I mentioned, these are all the life vests because Bayardo does tours for tourists as well. And he's gonna give me a little walking tour. I don't know exactly what's happening because my Spanish is improving, but um, they're, they're speaking so fast, but it looks like uh, Bayardo is a guide in the Somos National Park and um, we're gonna go check out the river, the park, probably gonna get wet, still wearing my jeans, shorts anyway, but uh, we're gonna bring some tubes, we have life vests, so it all sounds promising. Here we are, soy aquí con Bayardo. Bayardo, ¿dónde vamos? Al cañón de Somoto. A dos, de dos a cuatro horas en recorrido. Ah, sí. No. Recorrido Big. medio. So we're gonna get wet. We're gonna go into the park. We're walking across the street where there is horses and a donkey. That's why you can't drive at night because half these animals on the road in the middle of the night. So this is the park that we're going to. Monumento Nacional Canyon de Somoto. Okay. Okay. 
danza de, 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 de cerro, pongámosle. Son a los animales. Y hasta para uno también. Ah, ok. He's telling me lots of things about all the trees around here. Some of them are a little bit complicado, and otherwise I can follow. But we're on our way to the river, and uh, yeah, let's check it out. Watch out, I don't step in cow shit, or donkey shit, or whatever shit it is, because there's lots of shit. Carrying a heavy load. Buenos días. That guy just came out of the forest with a shitload of wood, firewood on his back. I guess this is the way to get it. Okay. So, so here we have the uh, first view. It's the first view of the river. We see the hill here, that's Nicaragua, and over the hill on the other side is Honduras. Pero con el multitito es es muy diferente, difícil, difícil también. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's not a good idea. Así la mayoría lo hacen a pie. Sí, sí. Estaba que usted tuviera una moto, tenía que tenerla yo como pobre. Ah. It's crazy. Yeah. Poquito. Okay. Ah, it's muy bonito. Sí, okay. Así Nicaragua ha estado en esta pobreza de que las tierras. It's a bit difficult. But it's fun. No, todo lo han vendido también. Okay. This is what we came down here for. So about 25 years ago, Bayardo just told me, like, you can see the water a little bit, like it's just a drizzle here. I'm standing on this big rock. And 25 years ago, the water was at this level that I'm just standing at. And I'd say it is probably 20 meters lower right now. That's why all the lower trees are younger and smaller. It's very pretty. And right over there okay. is mi guía, my uh -huh. guide, Bayardo. Gracias para Dale, todo, señor. Not the easiest to pretend that I'm filming well and also looking where I put my feet. I guess this is a lot of rocks here. Rocks. Rocks, rocks, more rocks. Keep up, keep up. Liardo is getting ahead of me. Let's hope that I can make it without slipping too often. So this river used to be very dangerous. As you can tell it. Water used to come way above his head. Very cool. 25 years we couldn't have walked here because this would have been underwater. The water has disappeared apparently. Bayardo also told me that six years ago some Hondurans came across the border illegally and I guess they were murdered by some guerrillas. Well, Shit happens, I guess. Wow. This is where we made it to. We have to get through the water. There's just no water way.
Day one in Nicaragua, and this is what I find. That's the yard though. So in October, which is rainy season, the water is about three meters higher. So you can't walk here. You have to go through the water half the time. It's really dangerous to do that then. Now, marvelous. So that part over there, we just uh, have to swim through because there's just no way to walk around it. That's nice. Water is beautiful. Weather is good. And uh, Bayardo knows everything about this place. That is where we're going through this canyon, the Sumoto Canyon. So tonight we are at Nectar in Granada, Nicaragua. Having a delicious beer and we have the mixed grill with chorizo right here. Mixed food, mixed meat, delicious. What a silence on this uh, street tonight. Not tonight, this morning. I was here last night to have dinner and the music was blasting everywhere. And um, the restaurant I was at, I was just having a nice dinner on my patio. And then uh, this tiny little girl, really young kid came up and asked if she could uh, finish my food once I had finished eating already. Which, uh, yeah, is very sad. I said, yes, of course, I got her a drink. I got her a dessert. Her little sister came along. They were eight and 11 years old. And uh, yeah, that kind of breaks your heart. They're so sweet and so cute. And they are basically selling, you know, these things. They ended up giving this to me as a gift, as a Christmas gift, because it's Christmas day. And uh, yeah, makes you just realize how privileged, you know, I am right now that I'm on this trip and uh, just eating wherever I want. And these girls, they just have to hustle for it every single day. Yeah, makes you think. Welcome to Granada and Nicaragua. Oh, 
just going for a coffee. Make sure not to walk on the mosaic art. I isn't quite here. It was party central here last night. The coffee. Christmas to everybody from the lobby of the hotel. So Nicaragua and borders, not a good combination. Uh, I've just spent here, I don't know, a couple hours or something like that, going from one place to the next. Get a stamp here, get a stamp here. They all get all my luggage scanned once again. And uh, Pretty sure I have all the stamps now, so now all I have to do is actually enter Costa Rica. So, uh, wish me luck! Walking in uh, Santa Ana, close to San Jose, uh, in Costa Rica. And this is some sort of mall. I see a bunch of chairs up ahead, but actually almost everything is closed because today is Christmas Day in Costa Rica. So a few years ago, I, uh, I went to Costa Rica as well. I did a little bit of riding here with a rental bike. And wouldn't you believe it, the hotel that I'm staying is literally right next door to Elephant Moto, which is where I rented my bike. I think it's four years ago. Anyway, I hope they're open tomorrow. It's a Christmas day, so it's not surprising that they're closed. But uh, I'd like to say hello. Let's see what happens. Made it to the studio hotel, so uh, let's go inside and check it out. This is my hotel in Santa Ana. It's quite a pretty place. I actually have to check up the, the rooftop patio over there. For once, we didn't get to park the bike in uh, the lobby, but very old fashioned in a parking garage right underneath. Let's see if the beast is still there. I have faith. I have faith. Yeah, there it is. They do have motorbike parking in a bit of a dodgy spot in the corner, but I just parked the bike right here. Quite pretty, whatever this little seating area they got here. And then we go up into the hotel. It's very fancy. Hotel, the studio hotel, because there's art on the wall absolutely everywhere. There as well. A globe full of butterflies. It is literally like a studio, and this is the second floor. Here's the one that is right beside my room too.
so we just went down. Someone's coming up the hill, so hopefully.